accident, and he's disabled on one side somewhat. I do not believe that I was saved for a reason, no. Are you kidding me? Boogeyman don't want me. Dave Blankenship, a key figure in the Oak Island treasure hunting saga, gained fame as a determined and colorful character on the reality TV show The Curse of Oak Island. Alongside his father, Dave played a crucial role in exploring and excavating the mysterious island off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. His no-nonsense approach and unwavering commitment to solving the island's enigmas endeared him to viewers worldwide. However, despite his popularity on the show, Dave's fate took a surprising turn, leaving fans wondering about his mysterious disappearance from the limelight. So without further ado, let's find out what happened to Dave Blankenship from Oak Island. Hey, today, today, I'm going for a drink. Go, off you go. Dave Blankenship, the son of the legendary Oak Island treasure hunter Dan Blankenship, was born into a life filled with intrigue, adventure, and the pursuit of a long lost treasure. His childhood was undoubtedly shaped by his father's passion for exploring Oak Island's mysteries. Born in the United States, Dave likely spent much of his early life in Florida, where his father worked as a contractor after serving the US Army. However, in the 1960s, Dan Blankenship made a life-changing decision to move to Nova Scotia, Canada with his family to be closer to Oak Island. This move would profoundly influence Dave's upbringing. Growing up on the island, Dave would have been immersed in his father's treasure hunting endeavors from a young age. He would have witnessed firsthand the excitement, challenges, and disappointments that come with the quest for hidden riches. Dave's childhood was likely filled with stories of Oak Island's mysterious past, tales of pirates, secret tunnels, and buried treasure, fueling his curiosity and passion for exploration. As Dave grew older, he became more directly involved in his father's treasure hunting efforts. He worked alongside Dan and other partners such as David Tobias, Fred Nolan and Robert Dunfield in the Triton Alliance, a partnership formed to explore Oak Island and search for the fabled money pit. Dave's involvement in these expeditions allowed him to gain first-hand experience in excavation, exploration, and the challenges of searching for treasure on the island. Despite the hardships and dangers associated with his father's pursuit, Dave's upbringing on Oak Island instilled in him a deep respect for the island's history and a determination to continue his family's legacy of treasure hunting. This early exposure to adventure and exploration undoubtedly shaped Dave's character, preparing him for the challenges he would later face in his own quest for the truth behind Oak Island's legendary treasure. The Curse of Oak Island is a reality television show that follows the efforts of treasure hunters Marty and Rick Lagina as they explore Oak Island in search of legendary treasure. The island, located off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, has been the subject of treasure hunting expeditions for over two centuries due to rumors of buried treasure and mysterious artifacts. The history of exploration on Oak Island dates back to 1795, when a young boy named Daniel McGuinness discovered a depression in the ground and began to dig leading to the discovery of a mysterious shaft known as the Money Pit. Since then, numerous expeditions and excavations have occurred on the island, each fueled by the hope of finding the fabled treasure. Dan Blankenship, along with his son Dave, played a significant role in the exploration of Oak Island. Dan was a crucial figure in the early years of Oak Island treasure hunt, leading several expeditions and excavations. As Dan grew older, his son Dave became more involved in the operations, eventually taking on a more prominent role in the expedition. Despite expectations that Dave would play a significant role in the treasure hunt, he was noticeably absent from the show starting from the eighth season. This absence puzzled fans and raised questions about the reasons behind Dave's departure. According to statements made by Dave, his departure from the show was due to disagreements with the producers over the portrayal of his father's legacy. He felt that his father, Dan Blankenship, was not given the recognition he deserved for his decades-long dedication to the treasure hunt. Dave's frustration with the producer's treatment of his father was evident in a now-deleted Facebook post where he expressed his disappointment. Dave felt that the producers focused more on the Lagina brothers and other treasure hunters, neglecting Dan's contributions to the expedition. Later in February 2021, Dave Blankenship made a notable return to the Curse of Oak Island franchise in an episode of the spin-off series Drilling Down. 
The appearance marked a significant moment for fans eagerly awaiting Dave's return to the show after his absence in the main series. During the episode, host Matty Blake addressed several topics related to Dave's role in his father's treasure hunt on Oak Island, allowing Dave to open up about his experiences and insights. Following his appearance on Drilling Down, the Curse of Oak Island fans have been speculating about the possibility of Dave Blankenship making more appearances on the main series. While Dave has not made any official announcements regarding his future involvement in the show, his return to television screens was well received by viewers. Dave's deep connection to Oak Island, stemming from his father's lifelong dedication to the treasure hunt, makes him a valuable source of knowledge and insight. His appearances on the show provide a unique perspective on the history and mysteries of the island, adding to the overall narrative of the treasure hunt. Despite his disagreements with the producers, Dave's return demonstrates a continued interest in the Oak Island treasure hunt and a willingness to engage with the show's audience. As the Lagina brothers have their team continue to explore the island's mysteries, fans hope that Dave's return could signal a more active role in future seasons. Dave is known to have a noticeable limp, which affects his mobility. The origin of his limp dates back to an incident several decades ago. While working on Oak Island, a cable accidentally threw Dave off a crane, causing him to fall approximately 45 feet. Despite surviving the fall, Dave suffered severe injuries, including damage to his head. The safety helmet he was wearing during the fall disengaged an artery, leading to a stroke. The aftermath of the fall left Dave with limited sensitivity on the left side of his body, and despite the hardships he's faced due to his physical condition, Dave has demonstrated remarkable resilience and determination. He underwent extensive physical therapy to regain mobility and recover from his injuries. Through sheer perseverance and determination, Dave learned to walk again and regained many bodily functions. Dave's unwillingness to let his disability define him is truly admirable. Despite facing significant challenges, he's continued to pursue his interests and passions, including his involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt. Dave's resilience inspires others, demonstrating that with determination and perseverance, one can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. Well, Dave is great, but the most exciting thing about Oak Island is that it's been the subject of various treasure theories, each proposing a different origin and nature of the supposed treasure. The most popular theory suggests that the treasure belonged to legendary pirates such as Henry Avery and Captain Kidd. Other theories suggest that the treasure could be related to historical figures or events such as the French Revolution or the Spanish Inquisition. Some even speculate that the treasure could contain lost works of Shakespeare or Masonic artifacts. Despite the many theories, the treasure's true nature remains unknown, if it exists. Oak Island is privately owned, with ownership shared among individuals and groups. Initially, Dan Blankenship and his business partner, David Tobias, owned 78% of the island through their shares in Oak Island Tours. However, their association ended with the dissolution of the company in 2006. Alan Kostreva bought 25% of Tobias's shares. In contrast, the remaining shares were purchased by the Michigan Group, a partnership formed by the Lagina brothers and Craig Tester. Dan's shares were presumably passed on to his son, Dave Blankenship, who likely still owns them. While the ownership structure may seem complex, it reflects the efforts of various individuals and groups to explore and potentially profit from the island's mysteries. Dave's involvement in the curse of Oak Island extended beyond his on-screen appearances. He served as a producer on the show until 2016, contributing to its production and development. Dave's behind-the-scenes role highlights his deep involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt and his commitment to the show's success. Following the passing of his father, Dave likely inherited Dan's ownership shares of Oak Island. Dan was a significant figure in the Oak Island treasure hunt, dedicating over five decades to exploring the island in search of the fabled treasure. Dave's inheritance of Dan's ownership shares further solidifies his connection to Oak Island and his role in continuing his father's legacy. While Dave's net worth is not publicly known, it's safe to assume that it's substantial. His role as a producer on The Curse of Oak Island and his inheritance of Dan's ownership shares of Oak Island likely contribute significantly to his overall net worth. Dave's net worth is estimated to be over $8 million, reflecting his successful career and involvement in the Oak Island treasure hunt.